So, if we could be getting variants like this all the time, why did May tell Seuss to release Silvers last year and not something as awesome as this? Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on the channel. And in today's video, we'll be taking a look at the brand new, just released, Racing Red Jackson Storm. This guy looks incredible and I cannot wait to open him up. But first, let's talk a bit about the Racing Red series, since this is the first one I've featured on the channel. So, these guys are likely intended for to be special editions for the 15th anniversary. Although, like I said in the intro, why couldn't we have gotten something as cool as this last year instead of the Silvers? I mean, the Silvers were okay, but these are on a whole nother level of awesome. Ah, whatever, I digress. It's cool that we're getting them now, though, and Jackson Storm looks phenomenal, especially with his metallic red and uh, silver and black color scheme. Love that color combo. It looks incredible. But before we delve into him too deeply, let's talk about the packaging. So first of all, on the name tag, he's got the Racing Red logo, which is interesting. Because uh, the metallic releases, I think, stopped putting the metallic on the name tag, so it's interesting to see a series doing that again. Um, and then, of course, you have his artwork on the back here, which is actually red. Big fan of that. They actually changed it to be red. Um, although it does look like it was just filtered through a color changer app or something in some areas. I don't know. But either way, it looks phenomenal. Um, of course, he's got the new snippet here and the metal logo here. And moving on to the back here, not much to talk about here because... All he's got is Mater and Jackson Storm on the back. The rest have yet to be released. Although, if you've seen the leaks, uh, we know what to expect. But, yeah, that about does it for this guy's packaging. Let me crack him open, and we'll get into the review. All right, guys, well, here's Racing Red Jackson Storm all opened up, and... Oh, my God. This color is phenomenal. I'm a... Big, huge fan of the racing red color that they used. Oh, this might be one of my favorite Jackson Storms to date, if not my favorite. He just looks so good. Obviously, he didn't appear in the movie like this, so no movie screenshots. So, but damn. All right, starting off with the front here in terms of detailing. He's got his headlights, of course. Uh, no vents, Jackson doesn't have vents, and he's got a nice expression. And there's a sip on his front bumper. Ah, whatever. <laughs> it's not noticeable from the top, which is what matters. Um, and then, of course, he's actually got a different expression than usual. Normal Jackson is just kind of ticked off. Um, and Silver Jackson is much of the same. But Racing Red Jackson is just full-on determination mode. I love it. Love when they change the expression up for variants, and this is no exception. Moving on to the hood, he's got the igniter logo in black. It contrasts really nicely with the red. I love it. Liquid adrenaline, and that is actually very, very clear for such a small decal. I am really happy about that. Thailand really outdid themselves with that. Moving on to the roof here, he's got silver roof bars, which look awesome. The number 2.0 in black, and then a black and silver spoiler. This thing looks awesome. I keep using awesome and great and phenomenal, but it's true. The sky looks amazing. Igniter, liquid adrenaline, and silver on the black spoiler. Granted, the spoiler itself is silver, but doesn't matter. Looks good because no movie accuracy to it here, too. Moving on to, I'd say his only distractor are the rims. They are just red. And they have that bubbly insert inset to them that all Thailand rims do. Not the worst rims I've seen, but I really could care less about the bubbling. I really don't like that. But, oh well, what are you going to do? They look fine from this angle. Um, then we got the Piston Cup contingency sponsor. The number 2.0 in black again. And then combustor, carbon cyber, and synergy as typical. And the igniter liquid adrenaline logo down here in gray. Looks great. And then my favorite part of this guy, the S. The storm decal. 
it is silver with black. Well, not really black, but kind of dark dots. And it looks awesome. His exhaust is also chromed, which looks great with black inset. But again, this decal right here is awesome. Then he's got the gas cap, of course. And then he's got, you know, typical maroon back here, because, uh, can't, uh, make a metallic decal, sadly. Um, and then you got the, uh, taillights here, which kind of blend in with the color. The igniter logo in silver. The number 2.0 in black, and that's it, because he does not have rookie stripes. Right side is the same as the left, but again, it looks great. And <laughs> gorgeous. Honestly, this might be my favorite 2021 release so far. But he'll have stiff competition from Ducky Fontelroy, who will be coming up next. But before we get to that, let's do some comparisons. So first of all, here he is with normal Zaxxon Storm. As you can see, different expression. Same everything else, pretty much, because this is a sign of rubber tire release. This is Thailand release, so there's definitely going to be a few differences, but not very many. And then coming in with the Silver Jackson Storm, another good-looking Jackson Storm variant, but not as good because of the black here. If they would have gone gray, I think that would have been better, like they did here with the two-tone red. Um, but still looks pretty good. Again, expressing difference. Love it. And I don't have them out of the package because this is an error. But here's my Steel Blue Jackson Storm. So now we have a red and a blue Jackson Storm. And they look real nice together. Just wish the Steel Blue one wasn't expensive as I'll get up. Either way, they look great together. And as a bonus, here's all of the Jacksons together so far. Minus the color changers one. Didn't bring that one out for this review. But yeah. They look phenomenal, and I can only wonder, how many more colored Zaxxons are we going to get? Are we going to get a full rainbow? Because that would be cool. Zaxxon Storm, Skittles edition. <laughs> but yeah, that about does it for this review, guys. Short and sweet, because no movie appearance to talk about or really anything of that sort. Hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!